أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم إني أعوذ بك من البرص والجنون والجزام ومن سيء الأقسام أو الله I seek refuge from leprosy insanity mutilation and from all serious illness آمين السلام عليكم everyone my name is Rida Zera and the topic I chose for today's video is simple electrical circuit but before starting the video I would like you to know the definitions of some scientific terminologies which you can see I have written here on the board. As you all know, everything is made up of matter and matter consists lots and lots of atoms. But what does an atom consist? Well, an atom consists of two types of charges which I have drawn in this diagram, a positive charge and a negative charge. The negative charged particles are called electrons and the positive charged particles are called protons which stay in the nucleus of the atom with a neutron which has no charge at all. The electron has a unique property. It doesn't remain in the nucleus. It always orbits it like a planet. Let's come to conductor and insulator. You can tell a lot about them only by reading their names. So what is a conductor? A conductor is a material which allows electricity and heat to pass through them very easily and they're mostly metals but carbon and water take them as an examples they're also very good conductors and insulators they're the exact opposite of conductors they are actually materials that do not allow heat or electricity to pass to them at any point and they are not metals they are usually used for safety for example, you might have seen the plastic coverings outside the plug sockets. Now, let's move to our main topic, electrical circuits. So before starting, I would like you to know the main components which have to be present in a circuit, which are a battery or cell, two wires, a switch, and a lamp or a bulb. So first of all, we need to know the differences between a battery and a cell. When two or more cells work together, they form a battery, so obviously that shows that a battery is more powerful than a cell. But cell has chemical energy stored inside, and when the circuit is complete, the battery actually changes, it actually converts the chemical energy into electrical energy, and passes it on to the lamp or bulb, which lights up immediately. Now, in the battery, the battery is also classified into three types of parts. The negative terminal and the positive terminal and the middle part which is called the electrolyte. The negative one is called the anode and the positive one is called the cathode. Electrolyte is actually the place where all the electrons are stored. Always remember that negative always repels another negative and is always attracted by a positive. Take an example of a magnet. The north pole always attracts the south pole and repels the north pole. That's the same thing with electrons. Electrons are negatively charged and the anode is also negatively charged. So actually, it is pushing the electrons to go into the circuit. This pressure is called voltage. Now, as you can see, this arrow indicates that it is going over here and there is a switch in the middle. But this switch is actually closed, making it easier for the electrons to pass through. But if the switch is open accidentally, like that, the uh, flow of electrons is interrupted and broken. So that is called a open circuit. It is really important to close the switch so that the circuit can be complete and the flow of electrons can start all again. Now, as you can see, this has entered, the electrons have entered the bulb. How have they entered the bulb? Actually, there is a thin wire inside the bulb called the filament. The electrons enter the lamp with the help of the filament, which is a thin wire made of a thin metal called tungsten. With the help of the tungsten, it also exits the lamp and goes back to the positive terminal and from there it again enters the negative terminal. To learn the process that actually happens inside the electrical circuit, it would be quite easier for you to understand the types of two. There are two types of electrical circuits, series and parallel. Both diagrams I have made here. Let me first explain by the words. 
These both terms can define a lot about themselves. A series means something that are dependent on each other, and parallel means two lines, like a, a railway track, that go along the same route but never join their points. So this is a series cir circuit and that is a parallel circuit. In a series circuit, both bulbs and lamps you can see are joined by the same wire. The same current is flowing through both bulbs and the same amount of current is going into each bulb. Whereas in this the parallel circuit, each component has its own current coming and it is not the equal amount of uh, it going. The parallel circuits are actually not dependent on each other and in most home supplies we are using parallel circuits. But in series circuit you have uh, one advantage like in decorative lights. They're actually series but when you see one bulb that has blown out Others are still glowing. Why? Let me tell you. Engineers have done a method inside those other bulbs so that even one would blow out, the rest will still be on. So it's something between series and parallel. So now let's discuss the key points that you should have learned by watching this video. You might have learned the definitions of some very important scientific terminologies. You might have learned the closed and open circuit and the series and parallel circuits and the parts of a battery. That's all for today, everyone. If you want to follow my channel, please like and subscribe my videos. Thank you, everyone, for watching.